And what I want to remind myself and remind you today is on the aspect that when we are involved, whether at home, whether in our jobs, whether in the community, wherever it may be, when we remind the people of our duty to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and we remind people of the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, there are times when we will face critics. There are times when we will be criticized, when people don't like what they hear, then they criticize. You know, it's human nature. If there are things in the Quran that we are not ready to follow, then we criticize it. And auzu billah, we should not. That's not natural. <laughs> that technically is not even permissible. We should be saying, astaghfirullah, I am not able to follow this. I am not able to follow that. Allah grant me from your mercy the hidayah to be able to. But we should not condemn. We should not condemn the words of Allah. We should not condemn the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. Maybe we are not able to fulfill it. We are weak. We are human beings. We are warif. So that's, that is natural. That we are weak and we are not able to follow and obey, but we should not condemn the words of Allah, the haqq when it is being enjoined upon us, because Allah says, What are so bil haqq? and enjoin what is haqq and truth. So when we are reminded of what is the truth, we got to be careful. Now, on the other aspect, those of us, when we remind others, we got to be prepared that not everybody will accept everything, every time. They may accept something, some of the time, but not everything, all the time. People were always opposed, even in the time, listen, simple, as simple as this, as simple as this. In the time of Prophet Nuh, alayhi salatu wasalam, when the Prophet Nuh, Nuh, alayhi salatu wasalam, when he was spreading the message of inviting people to Allah, there were people of different rank and status who said, they criticize him. Who are you? You are not of our status. You are not of our rank and file for us to follow. Interesting, huh? Forget about the message. Because he was a humble, simple person, there were those who criticized him for that. There were those who said, well, okay, if your message is all right and we follow you, that's one thing. But we don't want to be part of your followers. We don't want to be part of your followers. Those followers, they're too, they have no integrity. They have no status. They are nothing. We are rich. We are powerful. We are people of status. So we don't even like this greater people that follow you. You see the kind of critics they get? Even our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, there were some of the chiefs in his time that would say, oh, we see only the poor people following you. Even if we want to follow you, we won't. And that's a problem. <laughs> so one thing is to get the true message and oppose it. And one is out of the gurur, the takabur, the arrogance of some people. They did not even want to follow. So we, when you are in the field of da'wah, or anyone, any one of us, 
When you try to correct and you try to remind people to do the right thing, you got to be prepared to be criticized. Yeah, prophets were criticized. Prophets were condemned. People wanted to kill the prophets for that. What was, what was, what was Prophet, um, Prophet Musa wasalam, facing? Firaun. Firaun wanted to kill him because he was preaching the oneness of the God, Allah. Firaun did not want to believe in this God. So he thought, let me get rid of him. Jesus, peace be upon him. He was teaching the oneness of God. He was teaching righteousness. And that's why they wanted to crucify him. Prophet Ibrahim, wasalam, he was preaching the oneness of God, worshiping God. The people love to worship idols, so they wanted to kill him. So even in today's time, if those prophets face that kind of opposition, don't you think in today's time when you try to preach the message of God, or we try to remind ourselves and others of the message of Allah, people will agree, will agree and there will be those who will disagree. And those who will disagree will criticize, but we got to live with that. We got to. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, in, surah, in Surah Yunus, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, very interesting, and maybe we will continue this in the second khutbah, because if we start on these verses, we just won't finish. So in the second khutbah, my brothers and sisters, I want to remind myself and remind you of some of the verses of the Quran that gives us that encouragement that we should not be discouraged when we remind ourselves and remind others of obeying the laws of Allah and following the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. In the second